video game and the footage you're about to witness is rated R for run the f away, kitties. This is gonna get messy. Viewer discretion is advised, mild season warnings, yada yada. Have fun. What's going on, guys? My name is Matt Omega, and welcome back to Let's Play Doom. In the last episode, we started going through the Argent facility here, hoping to uh, shut down the flow of Argent energy so uh, that Olivia Pierce hopefully won't be able to tear open a portal straight to hell. Basically, that bitch is crazy. We need to stop her. <laughs> and in this episode, we're going to be continuing where we left off last time next to where we took out this second gore nest after, you know, the, the, the monster that was last episode of me just, you know, forgetting stuff and messing around and not reading my notes properly. Again. <laughs> I think we're getting to the point where I need to start splitting these stages into more than two episodes. <laughs> in any case... So last time, oh, we ended things off when we went up that way and took out some enemies, got some stuff. We actually go through this door down here, which I haven't checked out. Uh, it pretty much just takes us back into this big old room here. So nothing really special going on. Actually, I think I've been out this door already before. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> anyway, so from here, let us continue on. We've still got a fair bit to explore. We've still got one challenge to go, a couple more secrets, a couple more elite guards. But uh, yeah, most of the stuff, uh, most of the stuff is ours. So let us continue on. So we've already picked up the data log and the field drone from in here. So we now have the heat blast for the plasma rifle here, and I hope I'll be able to use it. Uh, with uh, the, the uh, very short amount of ammo that I have left. Is there any ammo around? Not for the plasma rifle. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just continue on then and see if I can't show this thing off. Hello, boys! How are we tonight? Now, as you can see, as I am... Damn it. Firing the plasma rifle, uh, you'll be able to see it both... Uh, on the target reticle and on the gun itself that uh there's a there's a meter on the the scope of the gun but oh i can let that loose at any time sweet uh, there's a meter on the scope of the gun that starts charging up as you keep firing and that ring around the target reticle will also become more full as well that is pretty much the energy that we are saving up to use the heat blast now what is around here Do I, do I want to go down that way? I'm not sure if I want to go down that way. It'd be helpful if we found the auto map already, but I don't think we can find that. Oh, we're going down there anyway. All right, never mind. It's all good. Ammo. Sweet. Now I don't have to worry about ammo for the next, uh, I'll give it 10 minutes. <laughs> down this way we go. This, I believe, just takes us right back here by the second gore nest. Well, damn. <laughs> so we didn't really need to go up that way at all, but I'm glad we did because, you know, field drone. But that will take us back up that way. Not that there's really much up there. Wait a minute. That might be our ticket to get our next thingamajig. Yes. We can actually walk on this. And check it out. The, uh, the couples at the top is glowing. And in here, the little Doom guy. So which model do we have now? Is... Come on, game. Rocket launcher model, stealth guy. He's all stealthy-like. Right, so nothing else down around this way, I believe. It's pretty much just a straight path from here on. Now, Fuck now. There we go. Freaking imps every time. Alright, so this is the way we want to go, because right up ahead is going to be the third Argent filter. Then uh, we can, you know, skedaddle. But, a little pathway over this way. A little secret area. Y'all can just. Yeah, that. Yep. There we go. I just, there we go. Now it's completely full and uh, we'll do tons of damage when we let it loose, which I will do uh, at the next lot of zombies, but uh, forgive me, I may forget to do that because of this. 
Ladies and gentlemen, by far the most used weapon I've ever used in this game. The Super Shotgun. Basically... It's a standard double barrel shotgun. It is more powerful than the regular shotgun. Um, does not get any weapon mods though, and I believe, yeah, two ammo per shot. But the damage output is just so good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's a point at which, you know, you can get over the loss of the other stuff because it's just still that damn effective. <laughs> oh yeah, also we can uh, start putting points into the heat blast and we can actually... Superheated shots, there, yeah, superheated rounds. Shots on the plasma rifle now build heat much faster. That is cool. Right away, we can decrease the reload time for the super shotgun. Which, of course, I'm going to put some points into right away. And because I actually do want to show off the heat blast to, you know, a good effect, I will get this. The next one for the heat blast will be improved venting. Significantly reduces weapons recovery from a heat blast. Right. Anyway, now that we have, uh, well, this is beautiful, beautiful thing. And we have another Gorn I stop ahead because of course. Actually, looking at this room, I think it... I'm not sure. I may be thinking of somewhere else. But there's a good chance... It may be a very good thing that I got the lock-on burst for the rocket launcher. We've got plenty of demons around, despite the fact we haven't even hit the gore nest yet. Yeah, showing this thing off on imps isn't, you know, really doing anything. Because, I mean, the shotgun in itself could take out imps, no problem. So, get that guy's shield pretty well. Although, I probably, you know, got in a few shots just before that. Where'd you go? Not any good. One shot! Okay, there might have been residue from when I just missed them before, but... I wanted to be one shot, damn it. <laughs> Refill on a couple things. Cool. We do have another power-up over there, which uh, I may take advantage of after I hit the gore nest. I heard another demon. Where is it? Okay, that's taken care of. All right, let's do this. Come on now, fellas. Hell Knight! Three shots! No fuss! Yeah, that is definitely one shot to take out the Hellraisers. This thing is just a fucking powerhouse! And I love it so much! That's the one thing to me that's better than a shotgun. An even more powerful shotgun. <laughs> Where are you? Hello. Goodbye. Yeah, let's see. There you are. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna waste the ammo on you. You either. You're not worth it. That's right, I haven't forgotten to show off the heat blast at some point, so don't worry about that. And I'll do that soon, because I think we might have a good point somewhere up ahead. Now, we've still got plenty of stage left, so of course there's gonna be plenty of opportunities to kill as many demons as possible. We do have our fourth weapon upgrade point, which is great. So great. Um, what is... Oh, do want to go this way. Well, our next objective is over up there, but over here... <laughs> ah. Another secret. Some ammo, some armor, and finally the auto map. Jeez, that took us a while, didn't it? <laughs> so... What does that leave us at now? That's all three challenges done. That, that's all five secrets. We hit the other three just... Just like that. <laughs> we just gotta get those other two elite guards and... Yeah, we're pretty good. And we don't have to kill that many more demons to get the uh, final... Um, the final weapon upgrade point from our combat rating. So anyway... Uh, a little, uh, little bio on the Argent facility here. Read as you will. And let's move on. Over here is our next objective. 
and a health station should we need it. I don't really, I, I mean, health's like, it's over 100, so it's fine, I guess. A rocket launcher. And another data log. Ah. Another entry on the Hell Knights. So, ammo. And of course, the final Argent filter. So, let's see how we can piss off Sam this time. Warning. Energy contamination at critical levels. Mm-hmm. Oh, Sammy Sam. Samuel! Oh, this... Okay. Where did... There it is. This is what I wanted the, uh, the lock-on burst for. These, I believe, are called summoners. They summon enemies around them, and they teleport all over the fucking place. The second you try to get close to them, they'll just teleport around. Lock-on burst with a rocket launcher is the absolute best way to take care of these things. Indeed, summoner. These things are quite annoying. Like I said, summons enemies, teleports all over the place. Whenever you get close, it will teleport away again. Lock on burst is your best friend for this. All right. How many enemies are around anyway? Well, just to... This isn't the best place to show it off, but just to show it off. Oh, that's a different one. The unwilling, which is just more shambling zombies. Yeah, but um, anyway, so the heat blast there, we have a, you know, a little radius around us, or at least in front of us, where we'll release all the heat that we have, um, you know, loaded up into the plasma rifle. And uh, it actually does a fair bit of damage. So it's not a bad mod at all. And there's nothing else in here for me, is there? No. I want that entire thing without actually showing off what this new power-up does. We spent decades perfecting the science, selling it to humanity. We balanced their hell energy with our science, making it usable and safe. We solved an energy crisis the world had no answer for. It works. You cannot do this. I'm not sure if that voice come was meant to come in now or if it appeared a little late or something. I don't know, who cares, it's Sam. Anyway, this is haste. Now, uh, pretty self-explanatory, we move faster. There's our codex entry. That, yeah, that's, that's all it really is. We move faster. And we shoot faster. And we punch faster. We do everything faster. <laughs> Which is, you know, pretty good. And it lasts a fair while, too. Alright, so where are we now? Which is on the outskirts of... Whatever the hell this is here. All right, one elite guard coming up right ahead for us. Yeah. Yeah. I do have another heat blast, but you know, these things are pretty much almost dead. There we go. All right, here's our next elite guard right here. Oh, we've already gotten our fifth uh, point for the combat ranking as well. Sweet. So that's good. Was that going nest always there? Yeah, probably. <laughs> so with that, we've come all the way back around. So that was where the second gore nest was. It's where we started the episode. We can climb up this, which uh, doesn't really do a whole lot. But uh, now that we've dealt as much damage as we have, I believe that there's a new door open to us. I think this is gonna make me very happy because it's been taunting me for this long. Hey, there it is. All right, and the end of the level is just up ahead too. I really could have just ended last episode a lot earlier than I did. Yep. All right, and I believe that during the cooldown period of the heat blast, you can't actually fire. 
Now, the cooldown period doesn't last very long, so, you know, thank God for that. But uh, do be wary of that. Get back here. There we go. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Right. Anyway. All right, boys, let me at him. With fisticuffs! <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, there's something inherently satisfying about one-shotting Hell Knights. Summoners too. Luckily, we can get into it fast enough that we can lay in the one punch that it takes. Well, there's more of them. Come on. There's more of you around. Oh, fuck. That didn't last very long. Uh, that's the that's the shame about uh, Berserk. It never really lasts all that long. I think there's a perk that fixes that. I think. Um, yes, but it's the third perk. Hmm. Well, these are actually pretty useful. Damaging blast wave when the uh, power up wears off. When we pick up power up, health will be filled to maximum. We're going to be seeing a few of these power-ups later on. They're not going to be, you know, always readily available, but enough... We'll see them enough that these could be useful. I think. <laughs> uh, I'll sit on it just a little bit longer. All right. Our last leak guard is right around the corner here. And we... Yep, that's... The end of the stage, right up ahead. I really could have ended last episode a lot earlier when I did. But no, of course not. I just had to stuff around. As usual. God damn it. <laughs> Remember, the 12th Council of Nine is always watching you. Uh-huh. Alright, maybe the shortness of this episode will make up for the, uh, the sheer length of the last one. Oh, ho, ho. one last thing to break. Oh, Samuel! If stopping our energy production is what you want, then you need only to destroy this last filter, and Argent Energy will no longer exist in this solar system. We will be back at square one. Fuck you, Sam. I think I have every idea what we've just done. Is still alive. I've detected her life signature at the Argent Tower. She has removed one of the accumulators from the tower base. It has a unique energy signature that we can track. Well, that's it then. There's nothing else to be done. Right. Well. The energy flow of the tower has been greatly disrupted, so she can't open the portal that way, but it seems as if she's found another method to do that. She's good. I'll give her that. She's good. She's got, she's got backup plans. It's uh, not a bad thing for a villain to have, really. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Argent energy is gone. There's still plenty of Argent cells. Don't worry, we can still upgrade our predator suit and all that. It's fantastic. Uh, but yeah, we've stopped Sam from messing with hell, you know, until he eventually tries to rebuild this place. For all the good that it will do, I realize you're solving an energy crisis, but you're also putting, you know, all of humanity in danger, I think. I mean, look at what all the demons have done to just the facility on Mars. If these things reach Earth... Hmm. I wonder if that's the approach Doom Eternal's gonna, gonna um, go with. It would be interesting. I'm seriously looking forward to Doom Eternal. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, I had enough fun with this game. A sequel? God damn. I can still see the sky. <laughs> it didn't like fade to black or anything. It just turned out the lights in that room. <laughs> uh, I'm finding that a little more funny than I should, I think. <laughs> but that does it for chapter four, beginning of the end. 
five star combat rating, all three challenges, all five secrets, all four elite guards, two field drones, Argent Cell, and two rune trials. Thank God I don't have to replay anymore. Although, the next mission, uh, <laughs> I'm not so sure. Not for like secrets or challenges or anything, combat ranking specifically on that one. <laughs> but I'll get into that when we move on to the next stage, when we go chase after Olivia Pierce by probably storming the Argent Tower. I can think of nothing more fun at the moment. <laughs> but that does it for that. So in any case, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, guys, my name is Matt Omega, and I'll see you guys later.